What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Talking Blue. I'm Matthew Mooney. I'm going to be giving you guys a quick preview of the Giants-Packers Monday Night Football game. To start out, the Giants are coming off a bye week. They last won Sunday, the uh, sorry November 26th against New England, ten to seven. It was an okay win. Defense really played well, and you know, I, it's concerning about how the offense played, but at least for them for the offense though it was you know it, we played a good defense it's just the, the Patriots offense is garbage and you know we missed Dexter Lawrence and it was kind of a blow not to have him in the lineup and now he's most likely going to play from what I've heard against the Packers which really helps us and I want to talk about the game right now so Packers are coming off an impressive win against the Chiefs on Sunday Night Football. To be honest with you, I know a lot of people have been saying there's no shot the Giants win this game. People need to like take into consideration like it's not impossible. Like we could win this game. I mean, like the Packers could win it. Obviously, like I could see them winning it. It's just the way our defense has played has really helped us out. And not to mention with the Packers, they have a few injuries that are key players that and they could be out for the game this, uh, Monday night so I want to start talking about a couple of them the main one being wide out Christian Watson he is out because he suffered an injury Sunday night football it looked pretty bad but I don't know how long he's gonna be out for if it's just gonna be this game or a lot of games this season but it looked dangerous at first hopefully he plays after Monday night he's playing hopefully for his sake he's back week eight week 15 he's a fun wideout to watch and the Packers really need him he's their like number one target so now their number one target Monday night is going to be Romeo Dobbs so there's one less guy to worry about on the offense now on defense on the de defensive side of the ball I want to talk about linebacker Quay Walker he is their number one linebacker the best middle linebacker from the 2022 draft class. He is doubtful. So that could help us on offense. I know we don't play too well on offense, but I haven't played too well on offense lately, but that's going to help us potentially win this ball game. And, you know, we'll see what happens because, like, then I think our run's going to play better. Tommy DeVito's going to have more time to throw the ball. And the Packers don't have a good run defense, and knowing who our running back is, that gives us a huge advantage there. Next, I want to talk about running back Aaron Jones. He is listed as questionable. The next two guys I'm about to name are questionable as well. He is their number one running back and very versatile. He can receive and, and run. He gets a lot of rushing yards and a lot of receiving yards, so he's good to have in fantasy football. And th but that's besides the point. He is questionable as well, and they still have A.J. Dillon, who's a good running back. But if they just have him and, like, I don't know who their other running back is, but if they don't have both their star running backs, it's going to be tough for them to, like, really get going. And if assuming we get Dexter Lawrence back, their run game is really not going to play well against us. So our defense really has to be in full effect Monday night if we want to win because that's really been the X factor of this team. Next, I want to talk about corner Jair Alexander. He is their number one player in the secondary. He is listed as questionable as well. Hopefully, he doesn't play. I mean, if we don't have him, then it's going to be easier for us to like throw deep shots downfield to Hyatt or to our other receivers. And if the Packers don't have him, that's another huge blow. And another thing I want to talk about is, for them, they're also... Uh, the next questionable, this is the last guy I'm, I'm going to talk about, but safety Darnell Savage is listed as questionable as well. So if they don't have Jair and Darnell Savage, it's going to be a huge blow to their secondary. Then th their secondary is really not going to have a good game. Then our receivers could probably all have a field day and play well and like really just do a lot of damage against them. Next, I want to talk about what's going on, like with Tommy DeVito. So... It was debatable, like, who's going to start, Tyrod Taylor or Tommy DeVito. I thought the right call was giving it to Tommy DeVito. Some might disagree with me. Leave your opinion in the in the comments down below. Like, leave a comment who you thought should have started, like, who you thought should have gotten the start. 
I think giving it to Tommy DeVito was the right thing to do because he's been playing a lot better. Like, he's playing been playing very well lately. And, you know, he you just go stay with a hot hand at, in now, especially since you're trying to turn the season around. Look at what the Jaguars did last year. They were 4-8, and eight, and then they won the rest of their games in the season, and they made the playoffs. It could happen. Like, we could still make the playoffs. I have us going 8-9 and nine to end the season, but we'll see what happens. And I thought – I just thought it was the right thing to do. He's been playing better. Tyrod Taylor's been injured for a while, and I don't know if he's going to be any good when he comes back. Also, Tyrod's not going to – is most likely not going to be with the Giants next year, so – it's all right. Just give it to Tommy DeVito here. Let him play under the bright lights. Uh, yeah. Next, I want to talk about the impact Dexter Lawrence is going to have. Since the Giants' defense didn't do well against the run versus Green Bay, if he comes back, our run defense could possibly be in full effect. He's one of our biggest pieces on our defense, the biggest part of the defensive line. I think – this offseason, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this right now, but I think in the offseason, we got to get another defensive lineman just to, um, you know, to stop the run because the run defense really hasn't been playing well. I was talking to someone recently, and he said that they should get Chris Jones and the Giants should get Chris Jones in free agency. I think I'll give my opinions on my opinion on it later. I think it's an OK move. Wouldn't be the I wouldn't be opposed to it. But I don't know if that's like the main thing we have to do because I don't know if I feel like spending all that money on a defensive lineman, but we'll see what happens. Now I want to talk about some Giants injuries. So Evan Neal is out with an ankle injury. He definitely won't be playing. Bellinger and Simmons are both questionable. I think they'll both be in. There's time to recover. I mean, they were just like minor. They were very minor. I forget what Bellinger's was, but I'm pretty sure Simmons, like, correct me if I'm wrong, was an ankle injury. And, you know, if we have both of them in, that's going to help us win. Barkley is going to have a great day against the Packers run defense, especially if Quay Walker is out and how bad their run defense is. It's going to really help us win this game. Also, another way I want to talk about thing i want to talk about it's just like people have been saying like this is so out of reach for the giants people have said that there's like no way the giants win and i've seen a lot of people say the packers are gonna win by like two scores and another thing i want it's just it's not gonna they're not gonna beat us by two scores if they beat us if they win i think it's gonna be by like a field goal or maybe a touchdown i don't think they're gonna beat us by like 14 points i don't think they're that good i know they beat the chiefs but honestly aside from Mahomes and kelsey they're the Chiefs roster is mostly garbage. I'm not going to lie. They don't really have many star players. Receiving core is horrible. They have Isaiah Pacheco, who's a good running back. Offensive line is okay. Most of the defense isn't bad. I just think they need to like really work on their receiving core this offseason. But, yeah, um, this should be a fun game. I think the Giants really could pull this off. Like Barkley said, we're still in this mother effer. Like, the season's not over yet. I know I just said that. We're trying to turn the season around and – it's not going to be easy, but, you know, you just got to keep getting every opportunity you can and just just win every game, as many games as possible. So, yeah, that was really it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed our hype videos out. I'll put a link to the description to that in the description down below, so go check that out after this. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with a few friends, and, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Let's go Giants.